Hello colors, welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on three developing stories. Starting with Pedri Gonzalez, you know, with this report from Spanish publication Sports saying that Pedri is likely to start against Real Sociedad in a La Liga opener on Sunday. And this comes as a surprise because given the fact that Pedri's summer have been so hectic, he just came from the, you know, from the Olympics. And of course, he played the Euros many hectic times so far, fatigue, concerns for him. But despite that, Pedri is ready to play in the first game of the season. So we're going to be discussing much more of that. Then secondly, talking about our transfer business so far with reports coming out saying that the Barcelona board have told Ronald Koeman that there will be no new incoming players again. And of course, which means that our four new signings that is all for our transfer business so far and of course this comes as a shock because we quite remember Ronald Koeman have been demanding for a new midfielder you know and for a striker as well but now this doesn't seem the case anymore but we just have to move on with the ones that we've got then to conclude we are going to be talking about Emerson Royal who among the other new incoming players is the first player you know to be registered to play La Liga so we're going to be discussing much more on that as well so colors as we get right to those stories please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so if you're new here and also endeavor to watch the video right up to the very end Barca, Barca, Barca. on the back of the 2020 olympic games pedri gonzalez returned to barcelona's training facilities yesterday on his arrival he met up with a number of his new teammates including memphis Zapai and eric garcia he said to officially start training today According to Sport, Pedro is going to start for the Blaugrana in the league opener against Real Sociedad, despite the possibility of featuring in the first two games of the season against La Real and an Athletic Club, he will be given a rest after facing Los Leones. There is also hope that Luis Enrique will not call him up during the international break for Spain. That way, his focus will be geared more towards an active resting period rather than an entire year's worth of incessant football. The 18-year-old's inclusion is mostly his decision, you know, and partly Barcelona's lack of options. The Spaniard was given the opportunity to take 10 days off football and rejected it so as to have a chance to play for Coman's side. You know, this is despite having played more matches than any footballer in all of Europe with 73 games under his belt in 2021 season. Pedro has shown on a consistent basis that he is almost invincible, you know. Despite playing as many matches as he has, the young star has recurrently stated that, you know, that he had no intention to rest and that he wanted to be as useful as he can be, you know, to his managers. Barcelona's current injury handicap in the midfield makes it such that he almost cannot rest even if he wanted to. Frankie the Young is out with a calf injury and his natural replacement Gavi suffered a fracture to his jaw against Red Bull Salzburg. Another alternative is Ajax Moriba has gone out of his way to make life difficult for himself and Barcelona with no interest to renew his contract, as I earlier reported. So Coman will maintain hope that Frankie de Jong will return soon from his injury so as to alleviate the possibility of Pedri burning out. Then on to the next story of discussion. The 2021-22 season is just a few days from starting and Coman has a broken roster, especially with the departure of Lionel Messi. As if things were not complicated enough, his star striker Kun Aguero has suffered a lengthy injury keeping him out of the team for at least 10 weeks. Naturally, Coleman has asked for a couple of signings, but the reliable Tony, is it um, Tony Juan Marti, the journalist in Spain, has some bad news for us as he said the Dutch manager, you know, met with Barcelona's leadership asking the club, you know, to sign a midfielder and a striker, but the club told him that it would not be possible. Coleman is of the hope that Barca can make a number of exits happen between now and the 31st of August, you know, when the transfer window ends. So, he believed that the Blaugrana's inability to sign Wijnaldum would be compensated by signing on another person. But the club situation makes this impossible now, you know. He knows that Aguero cannot be counted on right now, that Usman Dembele and Asofati are both injured, and that Martin Bradwright is on his way out, you know, maybe to the Premier League, you know, such a situation makes him desire to sign in, in a striking role, one which Barcelona cannot provide him. Nevertheless, Coleman will remain hopeful that Barca will be active eventually, as the situation right now is almost unchangeable. The club will try to be more active in the next transfer window. This coming in the winter, maybe the 2021 winter for now, he will rely on Antoine Griezmann and Yusuf Demi as a club ways to officiate the registration of Memphis Depay. Then on to the final story of this episode, Barcelona have one of their four summer signings registered. 
it's Emerson Royal. The Brazilian right back who has arrived after two seasons on loan at Real Betis, you know, he has been registered because technically he is returning from loan and he is not assigning. So that is why you can see that the registration came so easier than the other three people. So GOL go publish the new sporting. He is appearing in La Liga officials list, unlike Memphis Apai, Garcia, Aguero. Barca and Betis bought Emerson together for 6 million euros each from Atletico Meniero. He played on loan at Betis for two seasons, but technically he's a Barcelona player. With the Catalan Giants then paying 9 million to Betis. So he will be in the squad for Sunday's game against Sociedad. He has done well in the minutes he has had against Juventus in the Gampa. Barcelona are working to register the others with Memphis the pie the priority as Aguero is injured and Eric Garcia is only just back from the Olympics. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so. So you always stay in touch with the latest Barcelona news, rumors and many more. Until next time, bye bye.